What is going on everybody, it's Louis here, and today we are looking at the Season 19 Challenge Rift. Uh, it's pretty weird, so I thought we made a guide for it. In case you haven't played this build before, it might confuse you, so you can actually get a peek of it now. Um, today we're going to be looking at the gear, the skills, and actually how to play it. Um, and this is specifically targeted at EU, because any has a different one, uh, which is a lot easier. <laughs> But we're going to be looking at the EU one here. So I hope you're going to find this useful. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, so as I said before, this is a EU specific one. Um, and we're going to be doing a quick overlook of the, of the gear first to make sure we actually know what's going to happen here. So in the cube, we have Fate of the Fell. Which increase our Heaven's Fury uh, damage by 500% and has two additional rays. And if you didn't know, like Heaven's Fury is our main damage source of this build, so this actually helps us quite a bit. Um, then we have here Heaven's Fury deals 400% increased damage to enemies that are blinded, immobilized, or stunned. We may need to remember this one, right? Blinded, right? We're gonna talk about that one later. And then we have the Rorg, of course, uh, just so it has one less set. In terms of the gear, it's pretty, uh, pretty bad. Um, this focus is pretty good. So it's playing with focus restraint. Uh, the gems are like stricken, gogog, and uh, it's alteration. So it's it's pretty tanky, right? In total, uh, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but you can uh, min max it to do quite a bit of damage. Actually, uh, we are using the three set here of all kills, which gives us quite a bit of damage and also toughness. We use the fourth set of the new Valor build, um, which basically means our Fist of Heavens um, do a lot more damage. So we're going to be using that to stack more damage for us, right? We also have the Captain Crimson set, uh, the three set here, which gives a lot of toughness and damage, which is pretty nice. That's about it for the gear. Uh, it's it's pretty standard, you could say. Uh, it, there's quite a few sets in there, and the Rogue is pretty good use for it. Um, we don't have a 6 set, right? So we are going to be lacking damage, but we can make up for it if we know how to play with this. Alright, so in terms of the skills, uh, we have Shield Glare with Divine Verdict. If we pay attention here, we blind enemies. And if, if we remember the braces we had in our cube, we deal extra damage to enemies that are blinded. So we need to remember this, right? So blind an enemy before you hit it. Uh, we are playing with Heaven's Fury of Bliss Ground. This is our primary damage source. Uh, it's pretty strong, but it's also quite a bit of cooldown so you gotta make sure you like use it for best uh, use right then we have law of uh, of valley here with unstoppable force uh it's pretty much just a cooldown just pop it before you're about to do damage or just pop it on cooldown doesn't really matter a whole lot um fist of heavens here we need this is pretty much our spam ability we need to make sure that we keep our stacks above this because this is also tied into our our force set so make sure you're just spamming this on like a regular basis because you're gonna have cooldowns anyway so this might as well just be your your main spam ability um then we have smite here this is awful this is useless don't even worry about this except for proccing your focus and restraint right so only use it to proc your focus restraint every six seconds or whatever then we have aggro champion here with profit this is just a, a, a big dig damage um, and toughness cooldown. We're just going to be using this basically on cooldown or you could save it for, for big packs. I just use it on cooldown most of the time. It's, it's pretty good. The passive are nothing special. They're pretty much just damage and, and toughness. So we don't really, really have to worry about them. They're just uh, like passive, I guess. So they don't really do anything special, right? All right, so we're going to be heading into the rift now. And I'm going to be commentating while I do this. Um, so I'm gonna tell you about the playstyle. So basically, what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be using our Heaven's Fury, um, our Fist of the Heavens, sorry, as much as we can. Basically use it to pull mobs together, then use your Heaven's Fury as your primary damage, right? We're just gonna be pulling stuff together. And don't worry about your, uh, your progress, it's gonna be pretty bad, uh, most of the time. There are some big clumps once in a while. We are going to be focusing mostly on doing them in terms of uh, of progress. Um, so we need to make sure that we are proccing our focus restraint. And we also need to make sure that we are using our blind correctly, right? Our shield glare, uh, which increases our damage by a shit ton. Um, so 
pay close attention to that one for sure. I'm stuck here now. Um, now, this is the path I have chosen to run. I've done it a few times now. Um, you definitely want to make sure you get all the blue packs. Then we're going to use Shield Glare and then our Heaven's Fury so we get that extra damage in, right? And you are going to be behind on progress the first, the first little bit, right? And of course, I'm not really that good at it right now because I'm also commentating while doing it. Um, but I have done it about five times now. And I managed to secure with about a minute of uh, spare time. Let's see here. Now we're gonna do some big damage. But this guy's running away. That's a bit annoying. Alright, now up here, we're gonna find two blue packs. Make sure you pull both of them together. And pop your cooldowns, your shield glare, and your heaven's fury. They should both die. Just boom. Just one guy left. There we go. So. Our shield glare is a really good cooldown in terms of just uh, upping our damage uh, constantly. So you definitely want to be using that, right? Um, I'm not really going to worry about most of this. I'm going to try to pull it with me. But I don't really care about like stopping to kill it, right? I want to get down to this blue pack down here. Shield glare it and then pop our damage. Get in the Oculus. Make sure we have a focus restraint popped. Uh, use shield glare basically in cooldown here while doing everything else. Uh, bam. Okay, so now we have two blue packs. It's there right there. Now we are a bit ahead in the time. And we're not going to be able to do this challenge with that easily. Or, well, that quickly, right? Because it is a pretty bad one. Um, we don't have a lot of mobility or anything. So we just want to basically want to kite them up together. Shield glare it. And then pop our damage. And make sure we have both just staying going. Um... We do have the, the the amulet that increases our durations of pylons, which is pretty neat. So we are going to try and use that. Uh, unfortunately, the pylons isn't that great in this rift. We get um, a shield and a speed. And that's about it. So right here, we're getting to the end of this map, right? Um, what we want to do is, we want to get as much progress as we can on map 1 and 2. Without stopping too much, of course. Because map 3 is pretty bad. Um... So if you get to map 3 and you're still missing a lot of progress, you're kind of screwed because it's a very small map. Um, these are more open and you're able to pull a lot more enemies. So we're going to stack everything up here. going to use our blind and then pop our damage. Boom. And now we're just going to keep cutting this a bit. And we don't really care about just single mobs. You can, you can use your cooldown on it. It doesn't really matter a whole lot. Um, now... Down here, right, if you look at here, I don't really care about my time right now. If we look right here, we can either go to the right or we can go directly up. I prefer going directly up here, um, not because of the density or anything, but because there's a speed pile up here. So you technically lose time um, due to like go running up here, but you do get a speed pile in, which is going to help you down the road, right? So we're just gonna keep moving up here. We're gonna try and cut that with us for a little bit. All that, all them ups here. We're gonna get the speed pile in here. Um, and we're just gonna be running, gathering all this up if we can, and then shield glare it and pop our our big damage. Shield glare it. And we're just gonna be spamming everything basically. It's not the the di most difficult build to play, right? But you do have to know what each build does, basically. Make sure you use your shield glare a lot. Uh, it's pretty good. It, it pops your, your damage up like, quite a bit. Make sure you hit elites and stuff with it. Let's kill this elite here. There we go. Okay, so... We're doing all right. Um, we have another pack here. Let's kill this. It should die fairly easily. Um, so if you manage to do your things correctly, you know, like shield glare, you have everything up when you're going to attack a pack, you can almost one shot it, right? It's not that difficult. Um, so definitely want to make sure that you're using your, your valor, your profit and your shield glare correctly, right? Use it all and then pop your, your heaven's fury. Um, as you can see, this map here is pretty awful. We don't want to be here too long, right? So, 
at this point you, sh you should definitely be in the high 90s if you get into this map um and it it's pretty bad right so i'm just gonna spawn here uh there we go i'll spawn the boss i'm not gonna kill it but as you can see we still have like 30 seconds left uh which is plenty of time i'm not gonna kill it here because that will fuck me up for next season um but as you can see it's 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 fairly doable if you understand the spells behind it and the items um this was a pretty bad one for me because of course i was commentating while doing it but i have managed to do the one in about a minute and 20 left um and the boss melts so as long as you can do that what i just did in the same time you should be fine um but if you want to you can of course always go in and test this for yourself just do what i do and don't kill the rift guardian so as you can see it's not the most easy one um the pylons are pretty bad uh, we don't have a lot of mobility to get around, so it's pretty difficult to min-max this one. Uh, just make sure you use your cooldowns correctly and your shield glare especially uh, to get that proc going. And that is about it. Um, I hope you find this video useful. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more future content. Uh, also make sure to check out my Twitch channel. Link will be in the description down below. And that's about it. Peace out, folks.